Welcome to the second video in our series, Protect Your Equity. If you haven't watched the first video, please take the time and review it above before continuing to get a better understanding on how Pepperidge Farm distributors are contractually compensated. This video, Tracking Lost Commissions, is made for the independent Pepperidge Farm bakery distributor. There will be a separate one for snack distributors. In this video, you will learn how to download the necessary tracking form and spreadsheet from our website as well as filling them out. This video was made for novice computer users and those not experienced in downloading or using spreadsheets. If you are a savvy computer user, please download the files to your computer and start right away. The instructions are straightforward. Just remember to download it first. Before we get started, there is a little bit of housekeeping that we need to do on your computer. We need to create a folder to hold all the files in an easy to access place. Don't worry, this will be quick and painless. What we're going to do for a PC is we're going to go to our folders. Click on that. Click on this PC up here. If we click on once more, we want to go down to the document section. Now all we have to do is you can see this is already highlighted blue. Just right click, scroll down to where it says new, and then click folder. Then we can go over here and put in our folder name, Walmart 2017 Bakery. Whoops. And press enter. There it is. From there, we're going to go to the website www.teampoaa.org let's go up to the top screen here we're going to close on the pop-up if the pop-up opens up and we're just going to scroll down you can see this is last week's video that I spoke about earlier protect your equity part one and here will be this video and then right beneath the video will be the downloads that we want to take care of. So what we want to do is download the bakery spreadsheet. So we left clicked on it. It opens up the spreadsheet, but the only thing we want to do is download. So we click on download. Our bar up here tells us where it wants to save this file, but we want to change this. So we left clicked on it, we're going back to documents. And here is our new file, or our, I'm sorry, our new folder. We double clicked on that, then press save. When we're done with that, we can close the window out. And then let's do the same thing with the tracking form. Double click on it. This is a little bit different, we have a download arrow same thing though and because we already saved it this computer knows that I want to put it into the uh, bakery folder now if this did not show up simply we would do the same thing as before we would click on documents find the Walmart bakery folder and then click save and that is it both files are now downloaded so what we're going to do now is go to the files as you can see right here they're both here let's open up the tracking form file first this current tracking form file is set in three different items that we're going to uh, track the swirl bread the farmhouse and the whole grain what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make several copies so let's just go ahead and click print And as you can see, what this will hold, each page will hold approximately two stores each week for you to track. It's fairly straightforward. You're just going to go ahead and fill out, whenever you're at Walmart, how many items you are putting in. This makes it a lot easier come end of week. This way you can just go ahead. You already have the totals. You don't need to go searching through tickets to find out exactly how much you brought in. All right. 
So let's go back to our folder here. As you can see, now we want to open up the spreadsheet. So we double click on that. Once the spreadsheet opens, we need to click Enable Editing up on top. To go over this spreadsheet real quick, we have tabs on the bottom. This is the master tab. The only thing that we can change on this page right here is the uh, row 13 that has the store numbers. So from the other sheet that I just showed you, I'm putting in store 4120 and store 4150. Next sheet, or I'm sorry, the next tab would be the swirl bread. Now what I am going to put in here is the current week ending date, but I'm going to add up all of the swirl that I delivered. So in this case it was 68. For store 4150, I delivered 56. As I can see right now, just judging from this, the swirl commission that I lost delivering to Walmart was $19.59. If I would have delivered this product to any other account, I would have been paid full wholesale price, not the EDLP, which is not even in the contract uh, price that Pepperidge Farm is paying. Same thing on whole grain. Whole grain delivered 68 to the one, 72 to the other. As you can see, the store's already populated over. Then on the third one, farmhouse 26 and then 38 now if you wanted to go one step further you could go ahead and in this column here or I'm sorry this tab just go ahead and start typing in the date and actually all the invoice number information can also go ahead and then type in what you did on each delivery. Again, this really isn't necessary at, at this point. Uh, can actually, when it comes down to what item, you can right click. Easy as that. Now when we clicked on the master, the master sheet here, it will automatically total up all three tabs, the whole grain, the swirl and the farmhouse. So we can see right now that our lost commission this week was almost $61 at Walmart. Now if we just start to scroll down on the left side, it actually breaks it down by category. Swirl, whole grain, and farmhouse. And this actually is going to go out for the, the total of the year to 12:30:17. What we want to do now is go up and click on the save. Now this will save everything to our computer. So next week when, when you come in, we're actually going to close this off first. So next week you're going to go to the same folder under this PC, the documents, the Walmart. You're going to uh, double left click as you can see, we have everything there. Now we will just continue on and add more to it. And this will go on week after week after week. And this will go ahead and tabulate on how much commission you lost selling to Walmart. That will conclude this video. Uh, look forward to next week where we will continue on with documenting the losses. Thank you very much.